So can you see? There are more graves over there. See those lumps? Those are bodies. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures and today I'm checking out an orm here on Jeju Island. Now Jeju Island is full of orms and basically what they are is it's a Korean word for parasitic little volcanoes. So they're all these little hills, extinct volcanoes off the main mountain of Hala Mountain. So we're gonna go up, I'm gonna go up two of them today and check out a beautiful view, so let's go. I'm walking around the Orm right now. It's a bit windy, that's why I'm covered up and it's really cold this weekend here on Jeju, but you can see I'm kinda in the forest here. You can see through the trees, super beautiful. I love hiking and I love hiking here through Jeju. So here's a map of all the Orms from where we are. We're at the bottom, all out there. Look at all these Orms. Every single little hill is an orm to go hiking and explore. Oh my gosh, there are graves all over this orm. It's like a family or someone over here. Well, at least they have a nice view. <laughs> I have made it to the top of this orm. Kind of give you a 360 look all the way around. You can see more graves. And in the background, if you can see through the trees, that is the ocean. There's the ocean, and over there are more orms. Also at the top here, they have a little workout station, and here is a pagoda. So in Korea, you'll have pagodas in these orms, or when you go hiking in some parks and places. Now when you go to an or uh, when you go to a pagoda, you need to take off your shoes. Don't ever go into the pagoda with your shoes on, it's considered rude. So when you're in Korea and you see a pagoda and you wanna go into it, make sure that you take off your shoes. I am on to Orem 2, and this one has a beautiful view, kind of like a 360 view of this area of the island. So I'm really excited to hike to the top of it. Watch out for snakes, dogs, and cats, and watch out for high heels, caution. <laughs> So guys, can you see? There are more graves over there. See those lumps? Those are bodies. <laughs> Again, another grave. This one is up close and personal. <sighs> Here's a big graveyard. I'm not sure if I should feel uncomfortable or should I be interested in the culture of having graves on these orms, but it's definitely interesting. <laughs> We're hiking with ghosts. I'm hiking with ghosts and dead people along the trail. I think as long as you're respectful and kind, you don't do anything to these graves, then it's not too bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad at all. I made it to the top of the worm here. Ooh, it is windy up here. Okay guys, I just got back to Jeju City and it's snowing. This is the first snow of the year we've had in Jeju City. It's a pretty cold day. I may be in Korea, but today I feel like some Thai food, so I'm gonna go get some Thai food here at this Thai restaurant at Bangkok Express. Today, I decided to get some Pad Thai. I love Thai food. When I was in Thailand, I loved Thai food, and Pad Thai is one of my favorites. At some restaurants in Korea, you'll get your chopsticks, spoons, napkins in a drawer on the side that you pull out. You can just go in there, grab a spoon, grab your chopsticks, napkins, and then you can start eating. I just finished my Pad Thai, and I have to be honest, it really wasn't the best Pad Thai I've had before. This is the interesting thing. So this new, this is actually a new Thai restaurant. It's called Thailand Oh my God, guys. I left my bag in the restaurant. Did you see the waitress running out with my bag? I totally forgot my bag in the restaurant. Anyway, this Thai restaurant, Bangkok Express, is a new Thai restaurant here in Shinjeju. Over here, this is the older, original uh, Thai restaurant. So this new restaurant opened right next to it, I guess for competition. And to be honest, the people were really nice, but the food is definitely better at the original one here. I think that in the future, when I have Thai food here in Shinjeju, I'm probably gonna stick with the original Thai restaurant. Bangkok Express over here, the new one, was okay, but it wasn't as good as the original Thai place here. So if you're in Shinjeju, definitely check out these two Thai places, but the original one, in my opinion, is pretty good. I 
finished hiking the Orms this morning, got some good Thai food, or it was okay Thai food today. And I've been wanting to go to a movie. Today is just a really cold kind of weekend here in Jeju. So I'm on my way to Latte Cinema. I'm gonna go watch, uh, I think it's called The Passengers. Uh, and it's had mixed reviews, so I'm hoping it'll be good, but I love those kind of movies. Sci-fi movies are my favorite. When you go to a movie in Korea, you choose your seat ahead of time. So you see the layout of the movie theater here. You choose it by letter and number as to what seat you want to sit in. And here's my ticket and my seat is F13. Alright guys, so I just finished the movie and on the way out, uh, you can see, check out this view. This is Shin Jeju, that's the main intersection here. You can see Emart there, beautiful view. So when you come out of the movies here in Korea, you don't usually go uh, out the way you came, you go out through the bottom of the movie theater. So which is pretty cool, it's efficient, it makes it easy for people to go in and out. It's a beautiful view of the city. It was a pretty good movie, I love the spaceship, I love the concept of the movie. It's a bit of a chick flick in space to be honest, but it's pretty good, there's some good uh, storyline as well. So if you want to see the movie, definitely I would check it out. Thanks again for watching guys, and remember, you only live once, so live to the max. Bye.